Cardiac pacemakers are special electronic devices that doctors put in patients to speed up the heart rate. We connect them to a specialized pacemaker wire or pacemaker lead that connects to the inside of the pacemaker. And the idea is to speed up the heart rate if the heartbeat is too slow or in some people that black out suddenly, the pacemaker can allow extra heartbeats when the heartbeat is inadequate. People need pacemakers for a variety of different heart problems. So for example, some people have a condition called sinus node disease, where the normal electrical activity of the heart is not adequate. And this usually happens in older people or people with other heart problems like high blood pressure. Other people may have problem with the electrical conduction between the upper and lower chambers of the heart, also called heart block, and they need a pacemaker to compensate for that problem. And some other people with other heart rhythm problems such as atrial fibrillation or AF may need a pacemaker because their heart may stop temporarily for a short time once their rhythm changes from AF to normal. And so a pacemaker will help stop them or prevent them from blacking out. There are a number of different types of pacemakers depending on the make and the model and the function. The simplest classification are pacemakers that pace only one part of the heart called single chamber pacemakers or pacemakers that can pace two different chambers called dual chamber pacemakers. The choice of pacemaker really depends on the medical condition and the recommendation by the doctor. There are other different types of pacemakers also depending on whether or not, for example, one can use pacemakers compatible with an MRI machine. Traditionally, pacemakers cannot be used with an MRI machine, but the newer types can. And there are other special pacemakers that have more advanced functions, such as those that can increase the heart rate when you exercise, or some pacemakers can kick in earlier for people that black out under certain situations. Generally, pacemakers last about eight to 12 years, really depending on how often the body needs to use the pacemaker and the medical condition that is being used to treat. Pacemakers are inserted via a small operation that usually involves one or two nights stay in hospital. The uh, procedure is usually done in the operating theatre or in the cardiac catheterization laboratory and involves the doctor making a small cut underneath the skin, usually about eight to 10 centimeters long. We then pass the pacemaker lead into the heart muscle using specialized x-ray equipment to guide us. And then we connect the lead to the pacemaker device and put it back underneath the skin in a small pocket. The risk of pacemaker insertion is relatively low. There's about 1% risk, and the risk includes problems such as bleeding or infection, or very rarely some people can get a bit of air entering the lung lining and need a special drain to remove the extra air. Most patients are discharged the next day after a pacemaker, but usually we advise people not to move the arm on the side of the pacemaker too much for the first one to two weeks. But after that time, most people are back to normal activity. People with pacemakers can still lead relatively normal lives once they fully recover from the operation. So people can still do normal activity, do their normal sports, and try to forget they have a pacemaker other than needing to have a regular checkup. Generally, the restrictions include not go near an MRI machine or larger magnets for people that have non-MRI compatible pacemakers. Also, when people travel and go overseas, they should carry the special pacemaker card with them to show that they've got a pacemaker in their body. And the other important thing is that people with pacemakers need lifelong follow-up. So they should see their doctor regularly to check the pacemaker is working well and to optimize their settings. And when the battery does eventually run down after about eight to 10 years, the person will then need a pacemaker change. ICD stands for Implantable Cardioverter Defibrillator. These are specialized devices similar to pacemakers that doctors put into the body of people underneath the skin. And unlike pacemakers, the main difference is that ICDs allow 
the doctor to shock the heart back to normal when there's a dangerous heartbeat or there's a risk of sudden cardiac death. So some people, for example, may be unfortunate and have a previous heart attack and then the heart muscle becomes weak afterwards. Those people are at increased risk of dangerous heart rhythms and may require an ICD. Other people may have survived a cardiac arrest and because they're at higher risk of getting a second cardiac arrest, they also need to have an ICD. The third group of people that require ICDs are those who have abnormal heart conditions, some type of congenital heart disease, for example, or other electrical problems of the heart that also put them at higher risk of sudden death and they may require an ICD. ILR stands for Implantable Loop Recorder. These are special electronic devices that doctors insert underneath the skin of people just overlying the heart to try to detect the heartbeat or heart rhythm problem that may cause people to black out. We usually use it in people that have very infrequent episodes, for example, maybe once or twice a year and the idea is to try to diagnose a problem when the blackout next occurs. These are diagnostic tests. They don't allow us to treat the actual problem, but when the ILR makes a diagnosis, the doctor can then treat the problem with, for example, a pacemaker or with an implantable cardioversal defibrillator. ILRs can be inserted in quite a simple way, usually as a day case, and there are a couple of different types depending on the make and model. The traditional type it uh, looks like the size of a USB stick and can last for about three to five years. There are newer models now on the market that allow the doctor to insert the ILR in the office and these are much smaller than the previous devices that we used to use. Many people nowadays have pacemakers or ICDs inserted for different types of heart problems. The main thing to remember is that you can still lead a relatively normal life if you have these devices in, apart from needing regular medical checkup and follow up with your doctor.